This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Want to start playing competitively? It's very easy to do so with instant email delivery with the codes and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from league battle decks, uh, specific promo codes or even the latest booster packs in town. So definitely check out PoTownStore.com and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. How wonderful is that? Also check out CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I've personally use every day if you're a european player you're obligated to check out the link in the description below we're going to be able to check out card market and you can buy cards and sell cards to people all across europe so definitely do so you're going to be helping me out a ton so definitely enjoy this video and i'll see you guys soon peace What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with the most funky list you've ever seen. It's going to be Salazzle Blounce, uh, an own creation, so I'm going to share this with you guys. So you can try it out. Roots Reveal saves you from Marnies and Reset Stamps altogether because we can draw cards if we decide to discard a Fire Energy from hand. We have 14 Fire Energies to work with as well as 4 Retrievals and 4 Fire Crystals. So we are going to be able to uh, one-head kill any VMAX as well as any tag team that comes in our way. We have Beast Bringers for the ADP matchup. We even have like a Reshazar which can actually take some prize cards early on as well. We have the U-turn board which can easily get some of these guys out of the active position for instance if you start with Salanded or Corio, the Dene, uh, all these guys, we can get them out of the active with uh, the U-turn board. We're not relying on Jirachi, instead we're gonna try and set ourselves up with a huge amount of Salazzles and then in the late game you're definitely gonna have an awesome time. We don't run stuff like uh, Palpad, Eldegos or Mewtwo so if you find room for it, put, definitely put it in this list. For now we actually uh, opted to go for Zacian in those cases where you're not able to get a one at KO just go for Intrepid Sword instead. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. If you're enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content, be sure to demolish that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And I'm always uh, thinking about new ideas, new decks to give to you guys so you can try this out on the Versus Ladder, maybe playing it at the Player Cup or whatever. So Tails never fails. And also this is uh, one of those Blacephalon lists that actually wants to go first uh, because you can actually get yourself a huge amount of Salamandids early on. Because of Great Balls, Quick Balls and all that. So uh, in this scenario, I wonder what we should go for. I think we save ourselves a Blown. Okay, they just concede instant concede. I think I would have preferred like starting with uh, the Cramoran then having a Great Ball, hopefully finding ourselves something like the Danny Jacks or Zacian so we can actually draw ourselves into some more stuff. If not, we can go like uh, attack on the second turn with the uh, Cramoran so it would have not been uh, a huge difference. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, opponents instantly scooping sometimes that happens on the versus letter. <laughs> it's like always like when I'm making a video stuff like that uh, seems to be happening uh, quite often but yeah it is what it is. And I, I also enjoy like creating new ways to play with certain archetypes already. Like we know that Blacephalon used to be played with like Green's Exploration back in the days. It turned out pretty nice, but then when the first turn supporter rule happened, we actually scratched that idea, went to like Jirachis and Orcorios and all that. But now let's go for Salazzle and see how it goes. Okay, Darkness and Psychic. We'll see how it goes. If the opponent lets us go first or second, doesn't matter. Opponent goes first, so we instantly have access to Welder. Okay. Weldering onto Salazzle will not work. A hard face. Hello. Okay, we have Welder, Beastbringer, Salazzle. Opponent already knows what we are playing, presumably. They didn't see any Blounds just yet, though. Let's just start off with none other than a couple of Salandas. That's definitely going to be helping us out. Okay, starting off with uh, Orocorio is also not a bad thing. We can, like, Quick Ball, Blounds, Blounds, Welder, finding maybe the Danny GX, uh, Zacian, or a Salandid. Okay, Fionn. So it'll be something like Dracapult? Could it be? Great Ball. Nah. It is Dracapult, okay. What to think about Dracapult? We are playing with uh, low HP Pokemon, but they do have 100 HP. They can get two shot at U-turn board on that one as well. Okay, fine, let's go. We have a boss's orders. Do we save that? Of course we save that. What am I saying? Quick Ball, let's get rid of this. We do have Welder in hand already. He could like Marnius already, so that's something we don't want to see. So we just try to Welder two energies on here. See how we go from there. Great balls, come on. Yeah, little Salanded. Hopefully, will save us the day. Okay, Fire Crystal. We'll have to wait because uh, yeah, let's just leave our core and the active for now. This is a scary matchup for sure. We, he is able to like Fiona, so that's pretty bonkers. So 
So I wonder what we should go. Like Fion, he is able to slap 120 in the first place. So if we give up our Salandit, it's not good. If we give up our Blown, might give up the Blown first because we have more Blowns to work with. And we do need to have a huge amount. Okay, Crobat. Drawing more cards. He still needs to find Dragapult V Max though. He can like, okay, Great Ball. No V Max. No V Max. Okay, their V Max is here. Okay, we are gonna get annihilated here. He can like slap 120 on the Oricorio here. We're still stuck in the active. That means we will be able to draw with a Salazzle though. We'll see how it goes. Research, Team Yelgrins. Okay, this is a, a very disruptive Dragapult list. It does have to be a very uh, disruptive list for sure. If that Crushing Hammer was successful, I actually would have uh, sacrificed our Blown right here. Is it gonna Fion? Probably not because then he has a. Uh, then we have access to the Dance of the Tribute. So okay, he is going to go for this. Yeah, unfortunately, gonna have to say goodbye to our little friend Salanded. So we can uh, start striking with our Blown. Maybe like go for two shots. We'll see how he goes. He also like bosses orders like a crowbat if uh, things go well. So we can take two prize cards on that. Okay, there's a quick ball. Probably another Dragapult. If that is the case, maybe we should go for like knocking out two Dragapult V-Maxes. It's too bad that we were not able to evolve or land it here. It's too bad. Max Phantom, how many switches is this list typically running? There's already one in the discard pile. These guys also only have a one or three cost, so. Hmm. Okay, everybody gets damage. Goodbye, Salandit. You were great. <laughs> we had Salazzles in hand, but now we actually have access to Dance of the Tribute, and Tishi Joe gives us another Salazzle. That's crazy. Alright, folks. Alright. This is kind of ridiculous, if I'm being honest. Kind of ridiculous. We welder here. We have Giant Heart. Okay. We can go for Great Bow. And these are irrelevant because we only have one Salazzle left. That's like too bad. Okay, one Salanded. We are gonna save a Salazzle with the communication. Another Salandit. Ta-ta! Next up, Quick Ball. We can go for like Zation plays, another Blown. Let's go! Ta-ta! Okay, <laughs> not too great of a damage output, but it's fine. Also drew into Welder, which is nice. Can attach of turn, not gonna need that. We have energy retrievals. Let's go. Fireball Circus, one, two, three. It's only 150. I wonder if he's gonna be playing Melolana or not. I wonder. Looking pretty tense here. This guy, we can even knock it out with uh, the Charizard if we draw into like our U-turn board. A little unfortunate that we uh, had to give up on uh, our two Salazzles here. That will make it a little bit hard to come back from that. Okay. He could still knock us out with the Shred. A Rocky Helmet as well. Oof. That is huge. Okay, he's definitely gonna go with that mechanic. We do have access to another Welder. We do have access to uh, Oracorio, and we do have access to hopefully two Salazzle. So we will draw a huge amount of cards. The only thing we need to concern about is like we have we need to have seven energies in hand and three on the Blown. Will we be able to do that part? It's already six in there. It's pretty nice. Okay, Blown, you're up. Yeah, Kramer is also not able to finish this job, unfortunately. Okay, what to do first? First the Welder, or then the Energy Retrieval? Interesting. I think I'm gonna go for Energy Retrieval first. Maybe we draw into even more energies. That's Welder time. One, two. Okay, there's a lot of energies right now. 
that is four in there and it's a lazul as well first of all we're going to be attaching over here so we have three in total now we need to have seven in total in the hand shouldn't be that hard just dance up the tributes first okay we have two over here we can just find them even further that's not too bad not too bad i actually want to save our quick ball here fire crit. we will need more to knock out the other uh, drag ball though it doesn't have seem to be having a huge amount of hp though okay two five that's nine two energies over here we have two true crystals and a retrieval left and the u-turn board is also in there okay fine Alright, what now? Four welders in there, okay. We cannot afford to discard anything else for now. So it's gonna have to be fire crystal. One, two, three. Ta ta. Next up. We also have Resh's art, by the way. At least I think so. At least I think so. I think I'm gonna go for a Roost Reveal. Charizard can finish the job on that Dragapult easily. Okay, there's a Blown even, so Great Ball. Salazzle number two. Ta-da! I'm gonna save... We have one, two, three, four, five. Two energies that we need. One, two. We do have a Blown here, so I'm probably just gonna slap down the Blown here, to be honest. Let's just go. Fireball Circus, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boom and the dragapult is instantly knocked out i think a rush is hard as prize so maybe we can get it from the prize cards but this deck is looking pretty fine Grammarant also a, a nice deal great ball and showers is here so that's nice if we draw to u-turn board we instantly win the game we don't have access to bosses orders anymore unfortunately so i'm actually doubting to just put something like all right actually do we do do we have palpat i think so or did we uh, get rid of the palpat it's like this deck was made uh for scratch just playing a couple of games and then i actually uh, cut some cards just because i was uh, lacking the amount of energies uh needed to just one hit ko stuff like uh, the v maxes time and time again sometimes you need to go through like a two prize pokemon a three prize pokemon and then another three prize pokemon that could be a little bit much for sure it's probably gonna be sacrificing this crowbat here. Ooh, crushing hammers. Crushing hammers. Okay, Marnie time. Interesting. Do we have another Blown left? Yeah, definitely. Do we even have Zation to draw cards. That's actually not bad. How many Marnies in here? Two. Might have access to Aldigos. I wonder what he's gonna do. Ooh, power plan. And not having access to uh, Oracorio will definitely uh, hurt us quite a bit. Okay. That's huge. That is pretty huge. Okay, we do have access to Salazzles though. Salazzles can draw some more cards. We do have two fire crystals, two retrievals, and two energies. I'm going to use communication first to see uh, what we have to work with. Or how far we can go, to be honest. Salazzle. Okay, communication. Let's get Charizard in the mix. So we need to find Welder, U-turn board, Welder and U-turn board, and the Welder. Okay, let's see if we're gonna be able to do it. Quick ball. Cramorant. Come on, a roast reveal. Fire crystals. Three energies right now. We need to find that welder as well as the U-turn board. U-turn board is here, no welder though. If we blazer on this guy, we can also knock him out with the Cremorant. That's actually not a bad idea. Also, this guy is able to like poison, which is also 10 damage, technically. He 
Yeah, it's actually not a bad idea, although 10 damage. We blaze it with this guy, give up the blount, snipe him later, but you could mellow Lana as well. I'm gonna have to check here if it is possible. Yeah, we don't have another blount left, so it's gonna have to be, have to be this uh, little Salanded. It's gonna have to be this little Salanded, unfortunately. Retreat! It's poison time. <laughs> yeah, if he stays in the active, he's gonna get poison. So he has 160 damage output. Either we retreat and knock him out with Blounce, either he doesn't do anything. But then we can knock him out with Blounce, so it's fine. And then later, Cramorandum. Cramorandum, is that even a word? Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, I think we have to sacrifice Salazzle over here. Yeah, can I give up the Blown here? I don't wonder if he's gonna have Mellow Lawn on his list. He needs it right now. He only has three cards in hand, right? Yeah, unfortunately he did whip on that Welder part. Welder is still in the deck. We draw a card, we draw a tree with Salazzle. We cannot draw further thanks to Power Plant. This is like the ultimate counter for like uh, Oracorio for sure. Very intense games, however. Still missing that pal pad. Okay, research. That's not Mellow Lana. I think we have this. We can just cramorant the hell out of this guy. Maybe he thinks we don't have a welder left. Galarian Zigzagoon. Ooh. That's pretty scary. Blacephalon could go down as well as. Ooh, what is it gonna do? Who do we give up? I think we give up the Blown, right? This guy is slapping. Okay, Galarian Zigzagoon is back. Is he going to Fion or not? That is the question we have to ask ourselves. This guy has 160 damage output remaining, so it worked out perfectly. Okay, there's that Fion play. Yeah, just to ensure we have this victory. I don't think we have enough energies to knock at this guy out anyhow. So like, even one fire crystal tree retrieval is still not enough. Yeah, I think we just give up the blown here. We'll, we'll see what he does. He's still poisoned, he retreats. Okay, that's too bad. He can knock us out with the Jet Assault. 140. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's perfect, well played. Oof, close games with uh, Blasophilon Salazzle of all things. So yeah, Salazzle has that U-turn board. We will draw into our um, resources with Roost revealed. So we have so many energies so we can actually draw our entire deck here. Oh, here it is, the one and only Welder. Okay, let's go. Welder, Kremrant, you have to save ourselves from this Dracapult madness. Retreat. That's well played. You have a good deck. Okay, let's go. Kremrant, do the job. Knocking out the Dracapult. And also, Rocky Helmet doesn't activate. Love the fact that he uh, paired Rocky Helmet with Dracapult VMAX, but it looks like our Salazzle deck came out on top with Blounce. It was fun, so hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself. So try this list out for yourself. As mentioned, we are missing something like Palpat for sure. Initially, I had it in the list, but then I had to like uh, throw it out again because I was uh, like not getting the amount of energies that I needed to knock out another VMAX after knocking out a two prizer. You know how it goes. Okay, another match. Let's go. That was a long game, to be honest. And we actually had a, a terrible start. We actually got had to give up like two Salazzles. It's better when you have like an army of Salazzles, at least like three of them. Definitely in the late game. Wanna go first again, see how it goes. Come on. Actually, this might be a fire deck, so maybe that was a, a mistake because right now we're starting with Zacian. and Zacian's gonna be like... <laughs> we're gonna actually see the opponent knocking out our Zacian. Unless he's playing, ooh, Crushing Hammers. Everybody's like on the Crushing Hammer hype train or something. It's fine. Yeah, ooh, two mulligans, perfect. 
We have that Blau. We have the... Oof, another Dracopult. Why is Dracopult in right now? Why? Okay. We have this. Let's just go. Great ball. So land it. Let, there we go. Mm, great ball. So land it. Yeah, perfect. This is turning out okay. Great ball. Let's get rid of an energy. And getting ourselves none other than Salanded. Yeah. Also, now that I think about it, probably will give an energy to this guy because he needs to retreat at one point. Not gonna slap him on the blanche just yet. Not necessary. Let's go. Intrepid Sword. Okay, we have Oracorio. We have one Salazo. We're gonna actually have to draw deeply into our deck to find our U-turn board so we can get Zacian Addy active, well drawn to Blounds, and knock this guy out. Also, we don't have to worry about the fact that he's going to be evolving into Dragapult VMAX, although he does play Crushing Hammers, which is pretty, pretty crucial. Yep. Oh, we survived the hammer. We survived the hammer, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty nice. Either we draw into like a Welder. Okay, just a bite. Oof. Why is Dragapult everywhere? Okay. First things first, Salazzle time. Yeah, get rid of an energy that uh, we get. Ta 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 ta. Great ball communication. Well, communication. Salazzle. It's Salazzle time. More. We need to draw more cards. Whoosh. And a great ball. Pa pa. <laughs> Look at that. A triple Salazzle on the second turn. That's like pretty broken. Roast reveal. Whoosh. Okay, there is that welder. We do have the welder. It's welder time. One, two energies. We have the beast bringer. We even have the giant heart. Beast bringer is not necessary in this matchup unless he resorts to like the Danny Jacks. Two of these. And I think I will attach here. Yeah, unless he has like boss Zoras in hand, which I doubt. Uh, let's just go for Intrepid Sword. Either we draw into like, yeah, Welder actually can get the Zacian out of the active position even with a Crushing Hammer. So next turn, we are going to be able to uh, uh, annihilate this Dragapult VMAX instantly. So that's how the deck typically runs. So it's very nice to see in this video that we were able to establish the Salazzo lineup very quickly. So as mentioned, great balls, quick balls, and we have access to like three more quick balls. That is for situations where you get a reset stamp, you can then just go for the Danny Jacks and then Roost Reveal until your heart's content. And with so many energies in this list, yeah, like Marnie, we are not phased by Marnie at all. That's something you're gonna see in this video. Like what are we gonna get, energies? Yeah, energy. one energy retrieval already saves the day. Okay, Crushing Hammer. Yeah, Zacian's probably stuck. It's not too interesting for sure, <laughs> but it's fine. Ew, Radiant Forest, getting rid of the Giant Heart. It's also not too bad. And the Danny Jacks. That means we can actually take two prize cards on the Danny Jacks as, as well at one point. I wonder what we should do. Like we can go for energy retrievals or we can actually give up one energy retrieval and actually go for the Danny Jacks here. I think that's probably gonna be the better choice. Yeah, because we do have access to Gradient Force, so it's not like a big issue at all. Also, we don't need to like, if we draw until, I'm actually gonna check real quick if we have with communication access to a U-turn board. Otherwise we need to like Welder to get the Zacian out of the active position, which is not like the worst thing in the world. If we knock out the Dracopult V Max right now, we will be in a great position for sure. Okay, our Salazzles are getting punished a little bit. Quick ball, nice. So communication, We're getting ourselves the Danny GX. What else? So we have lots of crystals and stuff. Still four energies in here. u turn board and welder. So these are like our switch options right now. Okay. We could also like great catcher the, the Dan AGX. So we can take three prize cards with Beast Bringer. But that's a little bit far fetched to be honest because there's already like one Beast Bringer in here. I would have done that if there was more of these still left in the deck. So like Beast Bringer. Yeah, it's even prized. So will it would have not mattered at all. I'm actually going to take one to land it. We're gonna discard it with this. We're gonna go for energy retrieval. Two, one here. And then, rip, there we go. To Dene GX, let's go. And now we're gonna be drawing like our entire deck, which is awesome. Ooh, we have the U-turn board, that's perfect. 
either way i think i will still opt to go for like a welder in this scenario take your you're gonna see how many cards this deck is able to draw it's an it's unreal so first things first we will welder for one energy okay we already have enough almost to knock this guy out great ball okay roast reveal shazam five energies in here that's enough like we can just retreat one two go for fire crystals and knock this guy out don't need to like draw too many cards otherwise he will be decked out at some points you need to like be able to welder uh multiple times we can actually put a, a u-turn board onto ourselves so we can save that so we don't like draw into it he's probably gonna knock yeah he's not, not gonna knock us out this turn for sure doesn't matter fireball circus one two three four five six seven boom and we also take three prize cards and even if you get like uh reset stamped or marnie the celestials will uh cover you through the rest of the game another blown we have three blowns left to work with energy and beast bringer yeah the beast bringer that we needed to actually knock out this the danny jacks would have been fine but that's not the way it goes right now right now we have access to cramorant for the last two prize cards we just need to knock something out this turn and we should be able to close out this game nice and easily we have two welders left make them count so this is a deck that uh, needs all their welders to hit we don't discard too many th things we have quick ball he giant heart and the Danny which discard stuff okay crushing hammer these could be a little bit troublesome three of them in the discard already oof Robat. We did give up. Uh, we still have access to boss's orders, by the way. As soon as he like evolves into like a Dracopol V Max, we can boss that, put some damage on that guy, or actually just knock it out instantly because we do have the tools necessary to do that. I wonder if he's gonna like go for that. We still have access to boss's orders. Crobat. Otherwise, we just uh, do an easy uh, Fireball Turkus for one energy, knock out Jirachi, and go be done with our day. <laughs> This list is working out perfect. So uh, it's very strange that we were up against two Dracopoles. I don't know what the people were thinking. Like Dracopole is back alive. Maybe they're practicing for like Urshifu V Max that is coming out. Yeah, put Barney on top. Do it. Oh, boss. The boss is not going to matter too much because we have U-turn board. Probably going to have to slap down U-turn board onto our Zation at one point. Okay, Marnie. He gets the boss, but we get Marnie. Well, look at that. Our damage output right now is 300. 300 and still having access to Orcorio, so I am not worried about this at all. He has one crushing hammer left, so even if we get knocked out, I know U-turn board is still in the deck, so it's fine. Yeah, we knock this guy out and then uh, be done with our day. You always have to uh, take into consideration how many energies you have left. Okay, this is insane. I'm not gonna be drawing too many things. Just gonna go for fire crystal. At one point, if he bosses this one, either he knocks it out or he doesn't, right? But just in case, I'm gonna be putting one energy on here. Yeah, and then going for this one. We're gonna draw our entire deck next turn, so I'm not too worried about this. Fireball Circus, one, two, three, four, five. Bam, be done with it. So we draw our entire deck next turn, that's for sure. We draw nine cards with the Salazzles. We have the top deck and we have Oracorio, so nothing to worry about here. And also we have the Radiant Forest drawing that last energy from the deck. So yeah, we draw our entire deck next turn, so we win. Even if he marries, we draw our entire deck because uh, this uh, Viridian Forest that stays in play initiates the entire Salazzle process. Oh, I'm just very curious that this deck is working out so great. Even like like in, against like Dracopole of all things. It just goes so quickly with Rose Reveal. So if you're up against the VMAX deck, you shouldn't be sweating at all. This is a walk in the park for sure. Dracopole is back. Oh no. He's going to be able to take two prize cards here. That's crazy. Like he leaves our Salazos alone. If he leaves our Salazos alone, we win the game. And it's going to be like... 
12 energies in discard. That's crazy. That is very crazy. We Luckily, we do know that U-turn board is in the deck. Will he find Dragapult VMAX? Okay, U-turn board. I'm also looking for that. What is he gonna do? Does he find Dragapult VMAX? There's already like one of them in the discard pile. There could be like, he still needs to take six prize cards. There could technically be two of them prized. Scoop up net, Mewtwo. Mewtwo putting Boss or Marnie back on top. Doesn't matter, Jet Assault, oof. Well, that this makes it a little bit easier. Well, let's draw our entire deck. Let's do this. Okay, we have a lot of energies right now. Also, just think about it. We cannot like uh, slap down Oracorio because, you know. Mm, Charizard, Cramoran, right? Cramoran, you just need to find that welder. Yeah, we need to find welder and U-turn board. It's like the same story like last time. But we still have some time on our hands, which is a uh, little bit reassuring. Let's go. Unless he played like Mew from Unbroken Bonds, which I would be very surprised by. Yeah, Quick Ball, get rid of Salazzle, getting ourselves a Reshazard. Although Blount's probably also not a bad idea. Okay, Energy Retrieval. We have two more Salazzle draws. If Welder is in one of them, we win. U-turn board is here. It's pretty nice. Come on, will the last card be like Welder? It couldn't be, right? Okay, it couldn't be. It is not possible. <laughs> so this deck draws like very quickly. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. We are gonna retreat and we are gonna Welder. Well, 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 the game's done. Well played. You have a good deck. Let's go. Spit shot. The Danny Jacks. That's what Cramorant is designed to do. Knocking out the Dennis all day long. So we were up against two Dracovolts today. And we're gonna be playing one more game because like this is like pretty like one-sided Dracovolt madness. Hopefully this time around we will see Centiscourge or Eternus because again against those matches. We also have a favorable matchup. Also, we only run one giant heart. You could think like adding in more, but I opted to go for more consistency, getting out the Salazos earlier, which does help for sure. Okay, ADP, steam powered is the opponent. Will we be able to destroy ADP? The problem with this is that we need to draw very, very quickly. And also like, I wonder if it's like, yeah, we can go first. Interesting, so probably gonna be something else. Oh, we have Blounds, we have Zation. Yeah, three Salazzles in the opening hand. Hopefully we draw into some communication so we can deny ourselves out of this madness situation. Okay, two Pokemon already. Okay, this is scary. Intrepid Sword. We have a Welder for two. We can slam down Salandit. We have Great Catcher, which is actually not bad. We'll see. Yeah, our, our Blacephalon will probably get knocked out right here. We do have Great Catcher, so if we get Beast Bringer, we should get this. This is probably gonna be something like Picaram or Mew Mew. He could like Marnius. He could. Five cards in hand. Quick Ball to Danny Jax and then Marnie. It's unfortunate that we were not able to slap down Salanda this turn. Hopefully next turn we're gonna be able to set up an army against Picaram or Mew Mew, you just have to make sure you set up your Salazos, use Beastbringer at your advantage and use Great Catcher to target, or Bosses Order to target down on uh, the GX Pokemon. Because Bolton, you don't want to like hit into a Bolton unless you're uh, planning to attack with a Reshazard. Okay, Mewtwo. Pretty scary, to be honest. We do luckily have Zacian. Yeah, I expected this Marnie from miles away. That's too bad. We didn't even attach an energy to Blacephalon. This is better though. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. This is uh, much appreciated. Yeah, electrify. You do whatever you want. Yeah. He's gonna take like three prize cards at one point, which is scary. This one. And then the Danny Jack. Yeah, there's no other way. No other way. We need to set up a lot of Salandits. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Crazy. Could attach 
probably gonna knock us out this turn to be honest might as well attach here so we can then retreat this guy maybe he's gonna go for another electrify but it's probably gonna just attach and knock us out that's like what i predict intrepator okay we have salazzo we have bosses orders and beast bringer not entirely what i was looking for but okay air balloon retreat full blitz it's putting ourselves on the clock though all these crystals <laughs> sometimes you have opening hands like these where you have like too many crystals opponent did marnius in our defense maybe he marnius us again hopefully pikaram Pikaram is here. A quick bowling away to Pikaram, of course. Mewtwo is gonna be our main objective. We need to knock out a Mewtwo with Beastbringer in order to just get this game back on track. Research. Okay, Chaotic Swell. We are not affected by that too much since we only run one stadium card. Switch full blitz onto himself. Imagine. Yeah, this is gonna be scary. How do we go against that? How do we go against that? He's gonna be taking two prize houses. We're not running Mew from Unbroken Bonds to protect ourselves. So he's gonna be putting all the energies onto himself. Nope. Onto another Mew too. Okay, that's more satisfying. Salazzle. Salazzle. Yeah, this is going to be rough for sure. Probably gonna have to sacrifice our Dedane here. Or maybe our Zation. Yeah, it's probably gonna paralyze us. So I'm gonna give him the, the satisfaction of knocking out Dedane. Then I've gotta go sooner or later. Ooh, if we slap this down, it's probably gonna be over. Let's see here. One blown in there. Not taking the blown for now. Yeah, <laughs> now we have two blowns to work with. Crazy. Okay, blown. One fire crystal, sacrificial pawn, unfortunately. I wonder if it's gonna like Marnius again. We have Welder, that's pretty interesting. But giving up a fire crystal for that? I don't know. Probably not gonna do that. Just gonna Welder one energy here. We have Great Catcher, we have another Salandit. Beast Bringer. Wonder if he's gonna have boss stories. He has access to Quick Ball Eldegos for sure. But he still needs to get it though. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we attach here so there's more energies in discard pile. He probably has also crushing hammers by his side by his side. Okay, Beast Bringer. We do have Great Catcher. He might, might attack with Bolton. So many questions unanswered. <laughs> okay. We'll see how it goes. We uh, expose ourselves a little bit. Maybe he goes for. Maybe we should have waited with Beastbringer so he would have slapped down the Danny Jacks. But it's fine. Like, Rush's Art can take down the uh, Bolton as well, so we'll see. This guy has a huge amount of energies in play. Whatever he uh, full blitzes on to, we will be able. Like, Air Balloon right there. Probably gonna see Marnie again. Yeah, two Marnies being played. Maybe like if he used the Denny Jacks right now, we'll be so happy. Big charm, doesn't matter too much. We have Great Catcher, we have Boss Zords in hand, we have Wilders in hand. Fire Crystal, so we can actually put three of them in the discard pile, drawing nine cards. As well as using Orcorio Jacks. Come on. If he doesn't Marnius, it would be fantastic. Just knock out the Denny Jacks here. I know you want it. Okay. Go for Chapu Coco Prism Star. Cherish Ball. Yeah, slap down the Danny. Search for Marnie. Yeah, no, the Danny's anymore or what? Probably has the Danny's in hand. Ooh, maybe has research in hand. Electromagnetic Radar. Okay, the Danny is coming. 
That's something we know for sure. The good news is there's two Salanded Salazzles on our field, so that is gonna be making ourselves uh, money proof. Okay, there's no Dedani. Ah, that's too bad. It's just a, a regular old Crobat. A regular old Crobat. Did he find Marnie? Did he find Boss? Did he find both? <laughs> I don't know at this point. We do have another Blasophilon in hand. Okay, there's that Marnie. As to be expected. Okay. We do have already two energies on our Blown. Ooh, that's nice. U-turn board, perfect. As well as two energies and Fire Crystal. Full Blitz. Okay, he didn't even knock us out. Does he play Galarian Zigzagoon? Doesn't play Galarian Zigzagoon. Roast reveal. Let's go. Roast reveal. Come on, energies. Where are you at? Okay. We have access to a one energy short. Ah, so bad. It is so bad. Yeah, this is not the way I want it to go because not right now he has access to uh, Tapuco. Oh, he doesn't have access to Tapuco Prism Star just yet. Unless he has a switch card. A U turn board over here. U turn board over here. Hmm. Do you play Crushing Hammers? Probably, right? But how many Welders do we have left? Not a lot. That's too bad. Do we leave the Dedane wide in the open? Get, uh, giving him the Sacrificial Pawn? Uh, probably gonna give a Sacrificial Pawn in the form of Salandit. Attaching over here. He probably has bosses over, so probably need to, no, don't need to do that just yet. Yeah, I think these Quick Balls has do need to go or Gorio. Mm, we can poison him if he stays in the active he gets more damage he has crushing hammer putting three energies in discard piles like a little bit too much so ah i don't know i don't know how to feel about this i'm uh, just gonna go for intrepid sword let's go yeah he can knock this guy out if he wants to then we have access to Orcorio, maybe finding bosses orbs. Okay, there is that boss, as to be expected. Didn't want to like over attach here. Full blitz again. Now we need to like take care of the Mewtwo with a lot of energy so he can not like tag build GX for game. Right now he's just gonna go from five prize cards to four prize cards, which is pretty fine. So great catcher is something we need to find ASAP. Okay, great games for sure. Okay. Great ball first. We have the Blown already. Okay, double Salazzles. This is gonna have to be the way. Triple Salazzle party. The Cephalon is ready for action. Let's go. We need to find... <laughs> We're gonna draw so many cards this turn. It's, ins it's insane. Quick balls. Getting rid of this. Getting our Reshizar. There's nothing uh, of Pokemon in the list anymore, so it's gonna be scary finding our Welder right now. Okay, and the Welder does show up. Okay, and the Great Catcher as well. Wow, perfect. Okay. Retreat. Next up. Yeah, the Kremorant is not. We can go for like Beast Bringer. Yeah, probably gonna have to knock out two Mewtwo's to be honest. We're probably gonna have to do that. So we great catcher that one. Give up on Charizard. Give up on Quick Ball. Getting that Mewtwo with four energies. Go for Fire Crystal. And another Fire Crystal. And knocking them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all enough. All we needed. <laughs> Knocking this guy out. Okay, 300. Do we have enough energies to knock out another Mewtwo? That's like the main question. 
Yeah, maybe we should have gone like uh, saving our Reshazard here. Interestingly enough. This guy also needs like six energies onto himself. Either like he full blitz and puts himself in a checkmate position. Okay, the reset stamp to tree. Okay. Probably should have hang on to Reshazard to be honest. Reshazard could have knocked out this new this Bolton and then we could have knocked out the Mewtwo afterwards because yeah, he probably is gonna like tandem shock us and we don't have switches, so it would have not mattered anyway. But this is these are close games. I'm enjoying myself. Okay, that's an energy. He also has Tabu Coco Prison Star. We will see Tag Volt GX next turn, which is scary. Yo. Maybe we should have hang on to our like great catcher. Because right now, like, imagine... Yeah, he would have won the game afterwards. So, all of his focus going on that one Mewtwo. And we don't have another great catcher. Oh, he switches around to Mewtwo. Oof, this could be huge. Are we able to get enough energies? I don't know. That's 10 energies. I don't think so. I think we are running short on a couple of energies because we had to, like, use them early on. We have... Karamorant not doing the job. Also, if we had Beast Brinker and he had a Dedenne, that would have been a win con, but the opponent did not fall into that trap. Communication. Bull Cephalon is here, and we have six, seven, seven energies to work with. That's not enough. Not enough, unfortunately. Maybe we can, like, trap him. But there's also not gonna be an option. Ah, too bad. That's well played by the opponent. We, we didn't have any uh, choice here. He didn't play, he also didn't play any Danny Jacks, otherwise things would have been a little bit easier, but it is what it is. But as you can see, like, Roche Reveal can get you to, like, a huge hand size out of nowhere. Yeah, we draw our entire deck, but we are a couple of energies short. Just gonna be playing this out just for the opponent. My opponent might just say, whoa, what is going on? So what do we need? Like, uh, two, three more energy. So one fire crystal that uh, we have over abuse. So that's well played. You have a good deck. <laughs> okay. There was no other way. There was no other way. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Blacephalon with Salazzle. Try it out for yourself. It's a whole heap of fun. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mod that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. Go check out our sponsors, PoTownStore.com. If you're looking for anything TCGO related, maybe you're looking for Eternatus codes, Mew Mew codes, Speaker Realm codes, League Battle decks, whatever you need, you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, uh, yeah, uh, there's a PTCGO code card on the screen right now. And also check out our other sponsor. It's going to be cardmarket.com. If you're a European player, there's a five euro coupon code on screen right now. If you're that lucky person that actually got that uh, five euros, be sure to let me know what you're going to purchase. Card Market is for European players, so you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.